All right, guys, this room is clear. What's this in this toilet? Huh. Imagine going to a restroom and finding something in a toilet that would not only change the course of history, but would also ruin the legacy of one of the most beloved American achievements, the moon landing. And yes, we did actually go to the moon. We're not gonna have that conversation here. Following World War II, the Allied forces were seizing war-related materials when pieces of a document were found in a toilet at Bonn University in Germany. This document was the Osenberg List, created by German scientist Werner Osenberg. It contained the names of top Nazi scientists and engineers in the Third Reich. And obviously all of these people were brought to justice and tried for their horrific crimes against humanity. Nah, just kidding. This is America we're talking about here. You see, this list was discovered during the early stages of the Cold War, when the US found itself in an intense competition with the Soviet Union to build better technology and to build that technology quickly. And unfortunately, the US prioritized innovation over basic morality. In 1945, the US brought over nearly 1,600 of these Nazi scientists and their families in order to develop technology in a covert mission known as Operation Paperclip. President Truman signed off on this operation. And while he stated that he did not want the US to employ anyone who was loyal to the Nazi party, the Joint Intelligence Objectives Agency simply wiped out any evidence of these scientists' crimes. Von von Braun, who was instrumental in creating the V-2 rocket for Germany during World War II, went on to become the director of NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center. He was one of the primary creators of the Saturn V launch vehicle, and that was the vehicle that got us to the moon. So essentially, a Nazi scientist who created one of the most devastating weapons of World War II was actually responsible for getting Americans to the moon. He, along with most of these other Nazi scientists, got to live long and healthy lives, something that they denied their victims, and none of them were punished for their crimes. In fact, no one even knew about their past or this operation until it was declassified in the 1980s, nearly 40 years after the operation began. And now, one of the biggest American accomplishments, the time we put men on the moon, will be forever tainted by the reminder of the moral sacrifices we made for the sake of innovation.